All right, um, it's Paula Elizondo. This is my video reflection for our second project in the semester. Um, I just want to jump ahead with the questions. How did I feel about the paper that I wrote and what did I take away from the experience? I think if I were to compare my first draft, second draft, and third draft, you would see a lot of improvement. Um, just to kind of scroll, this is my first draft and I will admit my thesis was about half the size that it is now. Um, I have about three paragraphs, it's about two pages long, and I will admit I did not include a conclusion. Um, and that I did satisfy, um, I did do that with my second draft. It's about four pages long. I've added some more, um, some more elements, some more paragraphs, some more length. My third draft, my final draft, um, a little bit longer, five pages, and honestly just a lot better and more improved from the first. So, um, what do I want my readers to take away from this paper? I think just like how the team members in Chasing Coral did, and they wanted to stress the effects of climate change, I hope to do the same. Um, and I, I believe that I did while analyzing this. So, what kind of feedback did my peer reviewer and the instructor offer, and then how did that incorporate into the writing process? If I'm going to be completely honest, um, my peer reviewer was helpful, but probably not as much as the one from the first paper. I think that has to do not with the person, but the method, where instead of just writing maybe a hundred characters, to try to help, they would look at the whole entire paper and point out little suggestions and little comments. I think the the way we did it the first time was a lot more effective, at least for my sake, for my um, trying to do this. However, um, Owen was very helpful. He told me to give more detail and add more paragraphs moving forward and this was my first draft which I will admit was a little bit short um, so yeah I think I did improve on that and I will thank him for doing so um, but yes incorporating that into my writing he was very helpful with and I thank him um, so what in my opinion was the aspect in this paper that needs improvement I believe when writing anything about a documentary and you're trying to explain it to someone who potentially hasn't seen it and you're trying to do an analysis at the same time, you either summarize not enough or too much where you lose the fact that you're actually trying to rhetorically analyze. So personally, I'm not sure if I summarized so well to the point where someone who hasn't seen this documentary would completely understand. I know that I left out quite a bit, like for example, the coral um, bioluminating right before they would die. I don't think I included that, and personally I don't think it would have fit rhetorically into this, but at the same time when you're trying to summarize, there's only so much you can do. Um, so what do I feel like I achieved the best in this paper, what do I like the most? Um, if I were to kind of look through this, I think that I did add more detail, like um, Owen suggested, and I also included some quotes that I'm proud of. When I was taking notes for this, I made sure to, you know, give myself some quotes to later plug in for this paper, and I'm very thankful that I did. Um, it made this experience of writing this paper a lot more um, stress-free. And um, I think that I think that goes to show that you know just again with the experience it was a lot more um, fun I guess to write this paper and and yeah I think that's pretty much it but yeah that was my video reflection.